From Russell Brand's cold dumping of Katy Perry by text, to Julia Roberts traveling with Kiefer Sutherland's best friend on the day of their wedding, here are some of the worst celebrity breakups in history. I'll start small with Pete Davidson's heartbreaking text to Cassie David. The comedian and SNL star has become Hollywood's premier rebound destination, but he wasn't always that great in a relationship. I guess you learn something from each relationship you're in, and Cassie was unfortunately one of his earlier celebrity girlfriends. Their fling began in 2016, and as was typical for Pete in those days, it snowballed quickly. Speed running their way through a typical Hollywood relationship, the couple broke up just two years later. Sometime after that, Cassie wrote a collection of essays called No One Asked For This, and Pete Davidson was still on her mind. She talked about the breakup, saying that while she was the one who raised the possibility of ending their relationship, she did try to walk it back. Pete was done with it, though, and broke up with her by text. As if things couldn't get any worse for Cassie, though, she found out that Pete was dating Ariana Grande the next day. That must have raised some uncomfortable questions in her mind. For what it's worth, his relationship with Ariana had a similarly rapid buildup and breakdown, and her breakup story is relatively mild compared to some of the ones we'll be looking at. Imagine being Laura Dern and coming to find yourself suddenly fiancé -less. If I asked you to think of Angelina Jolie's worst relationship story, you'd probably come up with something to do with Brad Pitt. But before there was Brangelina, there was Billy Bob Thornton. Some of y'all might not remember this, but Angelina's relationship with Billy Bob was a favorite topic of the gossip world. That was partly because the relationship got off to such a wild start. See, before this couple started dating, Thornton had been in a relationship with Laura Dern for three years, and the couple were now engaged. While Dern was away shooting a movie, Thornton was shooting Pushing Tin with Angelina Jolie. And before Laura could even find out about this affair, her fiancé had already married someone else. Of course, she was extremely upset when she returned to her home and found out what had happened, and later described the feeling as a sudden death. Interestingly, Jolie was also dating someone else, Timothy Hutton, who was in the same boat as Laura Dern. This became something of a pattern with Jolie over the years, since after divorcing Billy Bob in 2003, she went and destroyed another relationship. Jennifer Aniston and Laura Dern could totally go out for drinks and rage about this breaker of marriages. You might be wondering now how I could turn up the dial on these terrible breakups, but at least Laura had a home when she returned. That's more than Zayn Malik left for Perry Edwards. Before Zayn began his notorious relationship with Gigi Hadid, he was dating Perry Edwards. Edwards of Little Mix. In fact, he popped the question to her in 2013, so the couple were engaged when Zayn sent her the text that ended their relationship. Apparently, Zayn was so done with this engagement that he couldn't wait for Perry to come home, because this is another relationship where the girl got dumped while she was traveling. But what made things worse for Perry is that Zayn had more up his sleeve for her. See, the couple had purchased a home together two months before the breakup, a cozy five-bedroom place worth a staggering 4.2 million pounds. Zane wanted to put that place on the market post-haste, so Perry was forced to vacate the home as soon as she got back, fiancé-less and homeless in one fell swoop. How awful. I should point out that Zayn Malik has denied the claims of how he broke up with Perry, telling Fader that he had too much love and respect for his fiance to do that. But going off her behavior on the tour and the way they sold the house, it looks like the allegations are true. Now, I don't want to imply that bad breakups are something that only men do. After all, Julia Roberts might have the most savage one on the list so far. In 1990, the actress began dating Kiefer Sutherland while shooting the movie Flatliners. The duo announced their engagement in August of that same year, and were going all out with their wedding plans. The wedding was set
set for June 91, which wasn't too far off in the future. Unfortunately, there still seemed to have been enough time for things to go completely sideways. Three days before the actual freaking wedding, Roberts accused Sutherland of having an affair with a go-go dancer. He denied this, saying that he just liked playing pool with her. Like, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but that's a pretty lame excuse. Anyway, Julia wasn't buying it either, and so the relationship ended. On the day of their wedding, people observed that Kiefer was actually moving stuff out of Julia's place, while the actress was living it up in Dublin with Kiefer's best friend, Jason Patrick. I wonder if Kiefer really was the one doing the cheating in this situation. In hindsight, Sutherland has been pretty gracious to Roberts and Patrick about the whole situation. He acknowledges that he was rushing into the relationship and appreciates that Julia saw that they weren't ready for marriage yet. All things considered, he still thinks that Julia is one of the funniest people he knows. Hey, speaking of funny people, Katy Perry wasn't laughing when she got dumped. Did I say dumped? I meant divorced. By text. Russell Brand is almost more famous at this point for his legendarily awful breakup with Katy Perry than he is for his comedy. It's one thing to end a relationship by text, even if you're engaged to your partner. Divorcing them by text, though, is a whole new level of terrible. Brand met Katy Perry at the 2008 VMAs, and a month later, the train had left the station. Two years later, the two of them were hitched. Things seemed to have been going pretty well for the two of them which is why the gossip world was shocked when the couple announced their divorce in 2012, just 14 months into the marriage. They cited some vague, irreconcilable differences, which meant that something was definitely going on behind the scenes. Sure enough, Perry explained that Russell is a smart man, and she was in love with him when she married him, but then added that she hadn't even heard from him since he texted his intent to divorce in 2011. You'd forgive Katie for being very vengeful about what he did, but she was surprisingly understanding of his reasons for divorcing her. He'd married Katie while she was at the peak of her career, and she struggled to make time for him and their marriage while touring. Still, none of that makes it okay to do it by text. At this point, you must be wondering what could possibly be worse than a text divorce. Well, Kim Kardashian didn't even bother telling Chris Humphreys that their marriage was ending. This one has definitely definitely gone down as one of the most infamous celebrity marriages. There was a lot of fanfare when it actually happened. Coming as it did during the height of keeping up with the Kardashians' popularity, Humphreys had even proven himself to be a dream husband, giving his wife a $2 million ring. And then, a mere 72 days later, Kim was telling the press that the marriage was over. She cited irreconcilable differences, that wonderfully vague term again. What made this even more shocking is that Chris Humphreys wasn't aware of these differences, and it wasn't until press reports of the divorce that he knew his marriage was ending. In the years since then, the marriage has been shrouded in controversy. There was loads of speculation that the marriage was nothing more than a publicity stunt, a media event to promote the show and the Kardashians' other businesses. Someday, someone might release damning evidence of this, and Chris Humphreys might be in for yet another shock from his marriage. Those are all the awful celebrity breakups I have for today.